Yes. So get ready in five minutes. We're going to get into yoga drills. One of the best sequence. And you need a mat. You need two blocks. If you don't have blocks, then you use uh, books, thick books. Just uh, two of them would be fine. Thick books, try them as a blocks if you're at home. So within a few minutes, I'll be back. See you all soon. Yes, you come here. Namaste to you all. 
Thank you very much for making this day with me doing yoga drills. Let me introduce here Krubyu. And she's going to also demonstrate the postures. And yoga drills is the best pre-preparatory postures for doing any posture, whether it's advanced, intermediate, or even beginners. So this techniques will really help you strengthen, reconstruct, repair your body. You know, many, many people actually who are even yogis, who are even masters in yoga, have a lot of inflammation, pain in their bodies because they are doing intense moves, they are doing intense postures and then if they don't use the right muscles, they could put a lot of pressure they couldn't stress the muscles, the bones, the joints, and they carry it for days, years, months. This is not healthy. So here, I'm going to show you the best techniques which will help strengthen all the muscles. And if you have any problems, it will help repair. And please understand, yoga should help you relieve pains, discomfort, inflammation, and problems, not giving you pain, <laughs> not giving you inflammation. So, there is a saying in yoga, samam stiram sukham asanam. Samam means balance. Stiram, stability. Sukham, happy, is asana, is the posture. So, I would like you to really celebrate it. Just do whatever you can. So, here you need a mat. You need two blocks. If you don't have blocks at home, maybe you try uh, thick books, thick one, as a block. And uh, you need a blanket or two towels. And let's begin. So here is the first time I'm doing YouTube Live. So I would like to begin with a, a powerful Mula Mantra of Maha Ganapati. And let me tell you, this mantra, even you listen or you play it, whenever you start anything, it's very, very powerful because it clears negative energies in your house, in your body, and it brings purity. It clears obstacles. If you are opening a new uh, house, you're entering a new house, or you're buying or entering into a new car, start this. So I'm going to have a, one mantra. This is Mula Mantra, and I'm going to sh give you also the short one. You can play that as well. So let's begin. You all ready? You can stand or if you're sitting, sit down. Sit down is okay. Sit down is okay. Sit down, cross leg is fine. And if you're standing, please stand, feet together, hands to the heart center. And softly close your eyes and bring awareness to your body. Feel your breath. And allow this Mula Mantra to reverberate each and every cell in your body. To reverberate your entire home. Om Ashasri Maha Ganapati Maha Mantrasya Durva Sarushihi Anusum chanda api Ganapati devata Gambijam Reem shakti Swaha Kilakam Sarva beast asidjade Sarva beast asidjade Jape Vinayogaha Short Mula Mantra Om Shreem Hreem Kleem Glaum Gam Ganapataye Varavarada Sarva Janam Meva Shamana Yaswaha
very, very slowly, open your eyes. So, get ready. So please stand up. Okay, stand to the back of the mat. And here, we're going to start some exercise to stretch the body. So only five seconds, you know, stretching for five seconds. So here, interlace fingers. Place behind the head like this. Now, you got to feel the weight of your hands on your head when you bend your chin down to your chest like this, when you bend your head down, right? So feel the weight of your hands as you exhale. Exhale down, like that. Like that, feel that stretch. When you are inhaling, you got to push your head against the palm, palms against the hand, creating some tension. Inhale, push and open your wings, elbows open, chin up. And exhale, be, give a nice stretch. We're going to do five times. Good. Inhale, open, wings. More wider. It can arch a bit backwards like this. Exhale, round. Okay, only three more. Big inhale. Create the sound at your throat. As you breathe in, uh, you're slowly coming into exhale, exhaling chin down. So you're doing J breathing. Inhale, create a sound at the throat, but you're breathing in and out through your nostrils. Exhale, create the sound at the throat, Ujjayi, the victorious breathing. One more, big inhale, open, 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 and exhale. Elbows down, feel the stretch. Inhale, come back to center and release arms. Now take your arms both overhead. Inhale. Now palms together like this, right? Now lift up, feel the sides of your body lengthening and also the spine lengthening upwards. Okay. Now big inhale and now from here just turn like this, opening your hands like you're holding a bowl, a bowl in your hands and turn as back, your right hand turning more to the left side and big inhale. Now this time the others, left side, exhale, turn. So you're opening the upper back and shoulders, big inhale and you exhale, open, very good, inhale. Exhale, inhale, like this we're going to do five rounds, exhale, good, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, turn more back, more, 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 inhale, Exhale, left hand down. You got, got to keep your palms up like you're holding a bowl in your hand. Inhale, last round. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale, left side. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and bring your hands to the side of the body. Exhale. Now, legs a little more wider. A little more wider. Now, stretch your arms to the side. Now when you exhale, your right hand, palm resting on the left shoulder, left hand back. Ready? Exhale. Now turn ass back, elbow up, keep your right elbow up when you do this. Inhale, exhale the other side, left elbow up. Inhale, come back to the center, exhale right side, right elbow up, inhale. Exhale, good, inhale, exhale, turn more and more, keeping your feet flat, inhale, exhale, good, one more round, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, very nice, and inhale, center, exhale, relax, now facing front, I mean, you can face me too. <laughs> little more wider. 
Okay? Now here, hands on the hip. Now what you're doing is you push your hip to the left, left side like this. Okay? Now breathe out, slide your hand as down as possible to your ankle, wherever. But don't bend your knee and don't lean front. More side. And come back, inhale. Give me five times. Exhale. Inhale. You can push your hip to the left side. Don't worry about the alignment. Inhale. Exhale. You're creating more space. Inhale. These are all called ascent. And a dime touching your body. Okay. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Now, well, I want you to stay here and now throw your left arm overhead, but relax the arm and look at your left armpit and just stay there. Now, keep breathing for five, four, three, two, come back, inhale. Now, push your right hip right. Okay, now slide your left hand five times down and up. Exhale. And every time you slide, try your best to go a little more down than before. Again, inhale. Third time. Inhale. Fourth time. A little more. And inhale. Fifth time. A little more. Now stay here. Push your hip more front. Knees should be straight. Now right hand over. Now, softly bending the arm, just relax and look at your right armpit. Breathing. Five, four, three, two. Okay, come back. Now, loosen up your hips five times. Big, right to left. Keeping your knees straight. This is not only for your hips, it's also good for your ankle, your knee. Three, four, and five. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, and very good. Five. Now here we finish. Now we're going to go on stretching the hamstrings. Okay? Now interlace fingers. Big inhale. Exhale, wide leg extended front bend like this, half front bend. So halfway your hands coming. Imagine a wall in the front and you got to push the palms to the wall. Keep the thumb and the little finger of both your hands active. Now big inhale, arms up. Now wait here. Now look at the hands. Now tighten those buttocks tight together first and then push your hip front. And then look at the hands, arch back a bit, a bit. Four, three, two, one, release arms. This is very good to relieve kyposis problem. Upper back, round, hunchback will go away. So let's do it. Again, inhale, exhale. Okay, look at your hands, inhale. Now tighten those buttocks together and look at the hands, arch back a bit. But remember, don't compress the back, lengthen the spine as you arch back. One, two, three, four, five. Release arms. Exhale to the sides. Again, interlace fingers, bring your hands to the chest. Inhale. Exhale. But if you find difficult to keep your knee straight, you can bend your knee like this. That's okay. Like this. You can stretch like this. This is fine. Okay, inhale. Now try to go back more. Then the second time, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release arms to the sides. Two more. Inhale, exhale, stretch forward. Bring your body parallel to the ground. Look at the hands. Inhale, up. Now try to arch back better than the third time. Move back. Five. Look at the hands. Four. Lengthen the spine, not compressing. Tight buttocks. And come back, release arms. One more, big inhale, exhale, push forward. So this helps really stretch your back, relieve back pain as well. Inhale, now look at the hands, arch back. 
Always remember, go with your capacity, how far you can go. Don't force yourself, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, release. Good, we give a little break by bringing the legs a little in, standing exactly hip width distance. Now, interlace fingers at the back like this. You see that? Now, when you interlace finger, lengthen the arms back straight, away from your body, and lift the spine up longer. You gotta keep lifting the spine up. Okay, now keep pushing the chest forward. Now, you exhale and relax the head down. Bend from the hips. And allow your hands, hands to drop forward. Okay, but those who find it difficult, bend your knee and relax the head like that. Now, use your back muscles, inhale, come up. Now, ready to just a little look up. Now, keep lifting the midsection of the spine up when you arch back. Again, exhale the second time. Squeeze and let the arms fall front. You can swing your body like this slightly and allow the hands to fall over, over your back like that. And come back, inhale. Second time, little more, lifting the spine up. Legs straight, tight buttocks. Look up, five, four, three, two, third time, exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, use the back muscles, tighten those buttocks. Arch back, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, down and allow your hands to stretch more and come back again and arch back. Look up, five, four, three, two, last one, exhale. So just five times, we're going to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Come up, arch back, five, good, four, three, two, one. Relax the arms. Good. Facing me. Can you face me? You all. <laughs> face me. I, I'm sure you are sweating by now because this is very detoxing. Okay, it really and helps your muscles to be ready. Okay, legs wider. Okay, exactly to your, if you stretch your arms, your, your, to the wrist. Okay, exactly, stretch that way. Now, turn both feet 45 degree angle like this. Now, hands on the knees, sit down. Like this, open knee. The best pose to help your hips strong and healthy. Not only stretching, but strong. They become strong. Now, from here, I would like you to lean upper body forward. Happy? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> now, slowly, see, watch me. Watch us, watch us. Shift your body to the right leg and turn the left feet in, right feet out to the right side. And you can place your hands both on the thigh and sit tall into the warrior pose. Now, you got to... Try to adjust your body to get your back more straight. Because sometimes you might be like this. You want to lift up. Okay, this is a very good hip flexor. It makes your body strong, stable. And now again, you got to bend forward and come back again to wide leg squat. Leaning forward. Okay. Now you know, let's go. Left side and both hands place on the thigh and open the chest. Lock that right knee, sit a little low, make sure the left knee is not over the top. Let's go, bend forward. Okay, like this we're going to do the three. So second round, come to Great Warrior. Feel the calf muscles are stretching at the left leg. Sit low. Okay, come back. Here, one, two, three, four, five. Turn and slowly place your hand. One, to press the feet, knee straight, right leg straight, and again come back. Shh. One more, shift, left leg straight, square your hips to the right. One, two, feel the stretch in the calf, four, five, again down, Shh. bend, turn, left side, keep the right knee straight, left knee bend, open the chest, like a warrior, you got to sit straight in this one two 
three, four, five. Try another one. Let's go. Hands this time resting on the thighs like this. You see? Just like that. Now, both hands this time coming toward your raising arms. Now, control the abdomen. Push your navel towards the spine. Right knee bend, not over the toe. Left leg straight. Again, come back here. Sitting. Sit your hip down a bit. Very good. Now shift this side. And come to one, two, three, four, five. Again, come back. Sit. Low. Hip down. And then right side. One, two, three, four, five. Down again. Left side. Turn. One. Hip low. Hip low. Three, four, five. Last round. Down. Right. Easy now. Five, four, three, two, one. Down. Left. Five, four, three, two, one. Down. Now stay here. And hands on the knees. Okay, hands on the knees. Now slowly, upper back straight. Stand up. Oh, oh you feel your legs. You feel your legs. <laughs> okay, this is today's weekend. Give all you got. Now come to the back of the mat. <laughs> now, you know, many times when you do wide leg, extended wide leg, a lot of people have pain or stiffness in the hamstring. The best way is to do side lunges. So here we're going to come into side legs wider out of the mat. Okay. Very good. Now, wider outside the mat. Are you ready? At the back of the mat. Now, now from the hips bent forward, place your palms on the ground. Good. Now grab your ankles with both hands. Ready? Now, hinge from the hip, side lunge, half like this, just like that. And look at your back leg. One, two, three, four, five. come back. Now the other side, left bend, sit, keeping the right feet. One, two, three, four, five. come back to the center. Now walk your hands like this and this time, first lie down. Now rest your toes and slowly come to up dog. Now here, I would like you to open your shoulders, shoulders away from your ears, just fine. Now look right side. Look left side. Okay. Center. Tuck toes down dog. Keep your legs wide outside the mat. Now walk your hands back. Good. Now again grab your ankles. Second time. Sit right side lunge. Side lunge. Just half, not fully. One, two, three. Sit your hip down more. Four, five. The other side. Look right side, but sit left side. Right leg straight. One, two, three, four, five. Come back. Straight. Now ready. Walk your hands. Lie down second time. And rest your toes. Slowly come to up dog. Shoulders away from your ears. Chest front. Look right side. And and center. Go back again. Tuck toes. Walk your hands back. Last round. Grab your ankles. Sit right. Half side lunge. One, two, three, four, five. Sit left side. One, two, three, four, five. Center. Now walk. Last one. Lie down. Easy. Up dog. Shoulders away from your ears. Right side. Look. Back. Left side. Center. Okay. Downward dog. That's it. Now this time. You got to grab your big toe, first big toe. Now, bend your knees and touch the head if you can. Just try. And then from there, you want to straighten those knees, head down. 
look back in from between legs far away. Five, four, three, two, and now slowly look front. Place your hands. Now slowly drop those knees on the mat. Ah, come on, all fours. Now sit your buttocks back on the heels. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm sure sweating. This is very good. You know, but it's detoxing and also cooling. Okay, so we're going to do some more moves and we go using the blocks after. So get ready. Now, come on all fours. This is to open your shoulder or have a shoulder pain. This is one of the best exercise. Five fingers, place them on the head, like this. Right hand, five fingers. Now breathe out, your head, thread your head under, like this, under your left hand, inhale up. Now open your left elbow up to the sky and exhale, head in. Inhale, elbow, like this, elbow. Third time, exhale. Inhale, like I said, only five times. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Inhale. And stay here. Now try to align on the palm. Shoulder and palm of the left in line. Opening the elbow. Five, four, three, two. Release the arm. Same way we do with the left hand. Left hand, five fingers on the forehead. Just like that. Now exhale, head under, close to your right arm. Inhale, elbow up. Second time, exhale, inhale, very good. Third time, exhale, inhale up. Fourth time, exhale, inhale up. One more, fifth time, exhale, inhale up. Now wait here, open that elbow for five, four, three, two, release them. Very nice. Okay. Now, now we need the blocks. So get that blocks. Okay, keep it side like this for you. Closer to your uh, feet, in line with your feet like this. Okay. Now, a little more exercise to strengthen those abs. Then we go with the... See, first thing, we come to upper plank. When you do upper plank, you don't round like this. You have to push the floor away. Okay? Opening the back, shoulders. Ready? Now, come to upper plank pose. Now, learn to perfect the postures. Now, tighten those abs and stay like this. Now, push the floor. Push the floor. Create the round back, okay, like that. Now hold five, four, three. This one you want to do only three times, so get ready. Now how to come to elbow plank. Watch me, watch us, watch us. Right hand stretch forward and drop the elbow in line with your left hand, palm. Then left ankles drop. Now tighten those abs like this. Don't lift up. Uh, don't drop it down, just exactly like this, in, align it. Now tighten the zaps, five, four, three, two, one. Only drop the knees, and drop the forehead, just take a little break. This is called half dog, so just head down, breathe. One, two, three, four. Five. Now come back again onto all fours. Second time. Come up to upper plank. One, two, three, four, five. Elbow plank. Right hand stretch front. Drop that elbow. Left hand stretch front. Drop the elbow. Try keep them in line. Now tighten those abs. Hold the pose. Five. Yes. You got to round the tailbone down. Tighten those abs. Three. Two, drop the knees, half dog, forehead touching. One, two, three, four, five. Come back on all fours, last one. Very good. 
Ready, plank, upper plank. One, two, three, four. Five. Drop the elbow plank, come to elbow plank. Right, then the left. Now round back, tighten those abs. Five, four, three, two. Drop those knees, half dog. Five, four, three, one, slowly, one hand, sit back like this, on your buttocks. Yes. <laughs> you feel the abs? So this is how you start building up the strength first. So many postures like headstands, shoulder stands, or inversions, even handstands, all will be easy when you have all the muscles strained. Okay, now a little bit interlaced fingers to the back, squeeze because we work the arms a lot. Shoulders, chest up. Take deep breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Now get ready with the blocks. Here we go. Take the blocks. If you don't have blocks, it's okay. Still, you can follow. Uh, so, see, place the blocks on the mat in front of the mat. Okay. Now, here, when you place the block, it won't slip. Okay. It won't slip. And here, you got to place the palm and the palm like this, like you want to push the block with your hands. So place the palms. Now we're working on the downward facing dog. But if you have a book, please do so. But thick book is the best one. Okay, now see, watch like this. Come on all fours and push the block with your hands. Don't worry, it won't slip. Now press the heels, hips go higher, keep pushing. Keep on pushing, lifting the buttocks up and up. Try to feel the stretch in the hand, the side of the body as well, not only the front. Understand, shoulders, uh, downward facing dog, sorry, downward facing dog is very, very good. It's like a substitute to headstand. Even if you don't do headstand, you already get a great benefits like headstand. Now it improves blood circulation, brain, frontal brain. It works wonders. Now stay there, big deep breaths. Now work a little more on the core. Come back to plank like this. Now watch us. Right knee to the right shoulder. Okay, bring it down close to the block on the ground. Again, use the core muscles. And go back to downward. There you go. So we're working the abs. So left knee to the left shoulder. Knee bend. Now bring that to the ground. Okay. Use your core muscles to pick it up back to the shoulder and downward facing. Okay. Right knee to the right shoulder. To the ground. To the right shoulder. Downward facing dog. Left knee to the left shoulder. To the ground, to the shoulder, downward facing. One more, like I said, three rounds. Right knee to the right shoulder, to the ground, up to the shoulder, downward facing dog. Left knee to the left shoulder, to the ground, up to the shoulder, downward facing dog. Very good. And let's go into the next move. Right leg up, square your hip and toe in, heel out. You understand? Keep pushing the heel out and square your hips, don't turn the hip. Now step your right leg outside your right hand like this. Okay? Now stay here, don't touch the back knee. You're like a runner's lunge now. You're in the runner's lunge. Now watch, watch us. Lift the toes of your right, Okay, it's okay if you cannot press the heel down of your left leg, that's fine. But lift the toes of your right and head down here in the blocks, just like that. Five, four, three, two, inhale. Exhale, go back again. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, head down. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale. Lift the toes up, both knees straight, five, four, three, one last one, bend your knee, inhale, look front, runner's lunge, 
exhale, knee straight, both knees straight, head down. Try to drop your elbows down a bit, feel the stretch. More down, like sinking into the ground. And inhale, look front, bend, runner's lunge, kick it up, right leg up, and downward facing dog. The same we do with the left leg, left leg up, square your hip, heel out, one, two, three, four, five. Left leg outside, your left hand, runner's lunge, look front. Okay, now both knees straight, toe, left toe up. If you can press the right heel down, do so. If you cannot, that's fine. You can stay like with the heel off the ground. That's fine. But you bend your upper body down. Three, four, four. Again, runner's lunge. Inhale. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale, looking front, runner's lunge. Exhale, both the knees straight into Konasana. One, two, three, four, four. Again, bend your knee, inhale, exhale. See this, how you happily help your body to stretch. Inhale, so you can go into postures very easy. Exhale, one, head down, knee straight. One, two, three, four, five. Last one, inhale, runner's lunge, exhale. Both knees straight. Now stay here, drop the elbows and hang down like you're sinking down into the ground. Five elbows relaxed. Four, three, come on, come on, getting you straight. Don't give up. Today's weekend, give all you got. And runners lunge back, inhale. And come to downward facing dog. Okay, drop those knees. Now, you got to bring your blocks a little uh, closer, but shoulder width distance. And now, I would like you to place your elbows like this. You see that? On the blocks. And walk your knees back like this. And I want you to relax the head down and do namaste with the palms together at the back of your body. And you keep walking your knees back a bit to give a nice stretch. And those who can touch the chest, to the ground, do so. But those who cannot, don't worry, don't force. Don't force, enjoy wherever you are. That is already a pose. You should not hurt your body. Enjoy it. Some people can go down, some people may not. Don't compare to anyone. Just do whatever you can. So this is the break time for you. Five. Very good. Four. Three, two, and slowly come up. Walk your knees back to the front, come on all four. Good, now, you might want to place the blocks like this in the higher side of it, not flat, maybe like this. So you can hold, you can hold, you can grip them up like this. Now, place them here again. Now we take an easy downward dog, not a difficult one. So come, sorry, uh, bring it to the middle of the mat, please. Middle of the mat, please, your blocks. Now, easy downward. I would like you to learn how to walk to the front of the mat. So watch me. Okay, see, from here, simple, don't do too hard one. Simple downward dog like this. Now, walk your right leg, left leg, walk front like this. More front, bending. And you want to lift your buttocks, tighten those buttocks, and you want to come to tabletop. Look up. One, two, three, four, five. Again, hip down. Now cross your legs. Walk. Again, walk back and open the legs at the back. Okay, two more. Walk softly, right leg. Left leg cross, right leg, and forward. Now come to tabletop, hip higher. One, tighten those buttocks. Shoulders, your hip higher than your knees. Three, four, five. Again, slowly cross, walk back. Yes, give me one more. Step forward, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, hip up. Good, higher, higher. Feel the stretch in the arms. This gives good, good stretch in the shoulders, chest, arms, back. And again, slowly walk back, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, and 
That's all good for now. Drop those knees and relax. This time you want to keep your, uh, come to child pose and you want to keep your hands by the side of your body to give a little rest in the arms and take deep. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, sit up, slowly inhale. How are you? <laughs> Good? Yes. So, now no need the blocks now. So keep them aside. Now we work on the core. We're working on dolphin. We're working on the elbow planks to build a lot of strength in the body. Ready? Now come to child pose at the back of the mat. Very good. One, like I said, five count only. We don't stay too long. Four, three, two, one. Now up on all fours, tuck toes, come to upper plank. Okay, and I get ready for a little challenge now. Okay, push the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Elbow plank, so right hand stretch front, drop the elbow in line with the left palm. Left hand stretch front, drop the elbow in line with the right elbow. Now, tighten those abs, squeeze. Five, four, three, two. Now, get ready for dolphin. Walk your right leg in, like this. You can bend your knee, left leg in. If you cannot straighten the legs, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. Now, try to bring your chest towards the thighs. Head don't touch the ground. Now this opens the middle lobe of your lungs, it's, which is in the back. A lot of energy, oxygen goes into your lungs. It also helps relieve kyphosis problem, hunch back, round shoulders. This will help. Go, now stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't Five. Hold on, hold on. Four. Keep breathing deeply. Pump in a lot of energy, oxygen to yourself. Yeah, now walk your legs back to elbow plank again. One, two, three, four. Hold on there in elbow plank, tight abs. Now you want to drop the pelvis down to the ground and come to sphinx pose. Now the hands in the sphinx pose are like this, like a railway track, okay? Chest forward. Chest should come front. Legs should go away from the chest. Now, pressing the elbows into the ground. Walk your elbows a little more front, please. Yes. Open the chest happily. Stay there. Very good. Five, four, three, two. Come to up dog. Place your palms close to your shoulders. Up dog. Hands close to your shoulders. And come up to up dog. Upward dog. Now, straight now this time you want to get your legs like exactly hip width distance when you do upward dog so how you know look from the right side from the shoulder look at your heel now keep that heel up but rest of toes anyway okay now turn this side look at your left and check your heel is it dropped out no you try to bring it up and tighten those buttocks inner thighs and look front Come to child pose. Oh, that is one. We're going to do one more. Okay, let's go, let's go. Don't give up. Come to plank, upper plank first. Okay, only five count. Four, three, two, one. Elbow plank, one hand at a time. Now tighten those abs. Five, four, tailbone down. Check your body straight, not up, not low. And then slowly walk to dolphin. Now give, give all you got, push your chest towards the thighs. Now come deep as possible. And take deep breaths in this pose. This is very, very important. Now pressing the elbows, shoulders open, stay there, higher, higher. And walk your feet back again to elbow plank. Five, hold here, four, three, two, and drop the pelvis down, groin down, and come to sphinx pose. Adjust your hands, push your chest forward, elbow and shoulder in line, and hands are like railway track. Okay, now from here, slowly place your palms right under your shoulders, and 
Come to up dog. Look again. Check your right leg. Turn right side. Check your left side. Very and come back to child. Good. Five deep breaths. Four. Three. Two. And slowly sit up. You want to breathe? No. You want some water? No. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> okay. Recommend you always to drink water before, like at least 20 minutes before your class. And it's not recommended to have a drink in between the class. Okay, no need. Just let, you know, if you feel really thirsty uh, in the class, then you can drink. Okay, now we go for a little more challenge. Are you ready? Come on, today is a weekend. Give all you got. Come on a course and come to upper plank. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's go. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. Now, drop the elbow again. Come back. Oh, we got a lot of core work here. Your abs will be like, oh my God. Now, hold on here. Walk to dolphin. Now, stay here in dolphin. Now, try bending one leg, right knee, and you want to just stay here on the toe. On the tippy toe. Come on, you got to keep the left higher and higher. And hold on for five. Little challenge, that's all. Four, three, two, one. Walk back to elbow plank. So we did right leg, remember that. Five, four, three, two. Spin, pose, draw. Come, chest open. One, two, three, four, five. Up dog. Yes, open shoulders. Downward. Dog, now here we're going up, right leg up. Bend your right knee and you want to open towards the left side, but shoulders, square your shoulders. Keep the shoulders square and open the knee. Five, four, three, two, step your right leg out of the mat. Again, like a, like a runner's lunge, look front. Good. Now from here, I like you to take your right hand, bring it inside and drop the back foot flat and come to intense side angle stretch. One, you see, like that. You got to open, open the shoulder and try to keep your knee and heel in line. Open the shoulder. Now, staying here, one, two, three, four, five. Look at your right leg and I would like you to sit down doing side lunge like this. Like that. You see? And can you open the knee? Right knee, right side. Left leg, left side. Open up, open up. Now we're going to do two times this way. So come back again to Indian side angle. One, two, three, four, five. Sit back again to side lunge. Good. One, but if you cannot sit, don't worry, even half is fine. Okay, okay, enough, come back. Indian side angle stretch, open the chest. Five, four, three, two, one. And look at your leg, and sorry, look at your leg. Come back to plank. Ah, elbow plank. Good. Five, four, three, Two, one. Dolphin. Uh, this time, try with the left leg. Okay. On the tippy toe, you got to stay on right tippy toe. And keep on pushing the chest towards the leg. Five, four, three. Walk back to elbow plank. Spinning pose. Oh, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Up dog. See, a lot of moves you're doing. <laughs> And downward facing dog, and let's do with the left leg now. Left leg up. Bend the left knee, open the hip. Shoulder square. Five, four, three, two, one. Step your left leg in front of the mat. Easy. Runner's lunge first. Like this. So you just want to help stretch that leg. Now, you drop the right heel towards the left side. 
okay and left hand inside towards the left feet close to your feet place the palm on the ground and intent side angle stretch open the right five four three now slowly sit that side to side lunge you can place your hands on the ground ah, very good one two three four five again go back to intent side angle stretch oh very good see your hips are very free now four three two one come back again to side lunge see this all these postures you should get them like so easy that means your body opened up very well okay okay go back to stretch five four three two finish and slowly place your palms upper plank please elbow plank good elbow plank very good tighten those abs five four three two one spins drop it open the chest up dog yep five four three two one and slowly come to a little break here okay break is done <laughs> okay okay now please uh, please take the blocks okay, both blocks place them again on the mat okay exactly shoulder width distance, huh? now what you do watch me here you're going to place the elbows and come into cobra like this you place your elbows first and then you come like the sphinx pose but you you're placing the elbows like that now keep lifting the spine please understand don't try to compress the back you keep lifting you got to feel the stretch in the abdomen because we did a lot of core exercise you just want to stretch it you don't want to create any inflammation okay now try placing the palm one at a time on the block try this come up more higher like you want to really open up lift up five four three two one okay go back again elbows on the on the block now once again namaste once again namaste open the upper chest now oh people who have calluses back upper back hunch upper back problems neck pain all will go away these are the best postures but remember don't force enjoy wherever you are and let the body open by itself all you need to do is stay in the pose and take deep breaths very very important and now this time you got to place one block like this like this one block another block like this on top but and you place your abdomen not the ribs okay the abdomen resting on the block like this only abdomen don't let the ribs come up you might put unnecessary stress okay now stay here now you should be able to take your hands off now grab one leg like this with your hand whichever leg no problem now the other leg and that's it now push the leg into the hand light make your abdomen light on the block you don't put too much weight on the block now keep on pushing the legs back like this. okay and you want to lighten your abdomen on the block come on yes breathing five keep breathing four good three more 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 two and slowly release come back to child pose oh good and slowly sit up okay you can place the blocks aside for now 
but we're going to use them one more time. <laughs> okay, now sit with your legs straight in front. Okay, this is for relieving anxiety, depression, okay, nervous tension will be gone by doing this. So this is like massaging the back, the nerves, you activate and release stress, and also massaging the abdomen. Now, just be playful, softly enjoy. So watch us, how we're going to do, okay? We're going to roll and just stay like this, legs up. Just roll. You can't hold the legs, you can have a chair at the back, and you can place the feet on the chair. Like this, see, forward, like this. See, simply bend knees. Easy. One, two, three, four. And roll. Just stay like this. That's all. Your legs up. Bend slightly. One, two, three, four. That's it. Again. One, two, three, five. Roll. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. Roll again. One, two, three, four, five. Roll back. Like, like you're doing a plow pose, but not really into the plow. You're in the mid-level. One, two, three, four, five. Again, go back to the front, seated. Massage. One, two, three, four, five. Roll. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. So five times, last one. One, two, three, four, five. Roll. And stay here. Stay here. Now keep breathing. Focus on the breathing at the throat. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll and sit down. And stay here. Okay, now you can straighten. Uh, do whatever you can. Just enjoy wherever you are. Choose. Five, four, very good. Three, two, one good slowly sit up see first before to do any plow postures you should be able to get the nice stretch first so just roll here and there feel too much neck pain please don't do it i don't recommend you and this one is fine but if you're holding longer a woman during menstrual period you should not hold longer just massaging like this is okay not bad okay now get your blocks piece Now, you're going to hold like this, like grip, little, little higher side. Ready? Now, place them at the side of your hips, like this. Okay. Now, here we're going to do a boat pose. This is to strengthen your abs. Leg straight in front. Okay. You can place your hands if you want to, if you, those who cannot do. Or you can hold your legs like this, and you stay like this. Five. Or if you can, you stay like this. Four, three, two. Cross your legs, please. Place your hands. Now, the very important, many times people get hurt in the shoulders is because they don't keep your shoulders down. So when you place your palms on the block, you lift your shoulders away from your ears. Very important here. You see that? This is important. And buttocks off the ground. Ready? Now, look front. And knees into your one, two, three, four, five. Sit back. If you cannot lift both the feet, doesn't matter. Try. Okay. Again, give me both. Come on, abs. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross legs. Place. Keep them slightly back at, at the hips. Slightly back. Now, come up. Now, wait. Shoulders should be our way, look front and feet off. And chest, no, knees to the chest. Five, yes, four, three, two, one, down. It's okay, in the beginning you might not be able to do, but try to get the right move where your knees bring to the chest like this. Okay, so it's okay you don't get it, doesn't matter. Try one feet first, you see that? Then the other. And you practice this way. Your knees coming in. Okay, again, cross legs. Okay, boat again. Now asana. Ba come on, strengthen those abs. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, give me last one. Try to hold. Come on, come up on your hands. And back. 
Up. Higher one, two, three, four, five. Down. Very good. Leave the blocks aside. Both legs straight. High down on your back. Okay, I'm going to take a few more minutes of your time and get ready. Feet together, arms to the side. Now, first thing, lower back, round it. Check your back. Don't arch like this. Round your back. And chin towards the chest that way. Both the legs. Now, raise both the legs up 90 degree. Yes, that's all here. Ready? Exhale slowly. If you can hold it close to the ground, do so. But if you cannot, drop it, that's fine. Okay? Give me five times. Inhale. Exhale. Third time. Inhale. Exhale. Fourth time. Inhale. Exhale. Fifth time. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Drop the legs. Now this time, you're going to bring from 90 degree, you got to keep the legs here in the air, and then back to 45 degree. So we are reversing the move. So okay, both the legs up. Now check your lower back. Don't arch. Careful. Now bring to 45 degree angle where my hand is, like this, and go back to 90. Five times. Okay, go down and 90. Third, down, and 90. Four, down, and 90. One more, five, down, and 90. And bring it all the way down to the ground. Very good. Now take deep breaths, five, four, Three, two, now from 90, both the legs up. Now this is a little challenging. From 90, you got to use your palm. Be careful. Okay, be careful. And use your abdomen muscles and gently throw the legs to the head like this, in front of the head and roll back again. That's it, see? This is how you build strength in the abs. So you can do the plow postures, head stands very easily. Roll again down. Learning to roll back. Again, roll and bring the legs over. This is the way you practice. Okay, try not to throw them. You gotta use the abs, four, like this. And down, fantastic. One more, five, yes. That's it. Now stay here. Five and then the. Now, but women during menstrual period, don't do this one. Okay, so you can just sit down or do the bridge pose. Hold on there. Five. Six. Five. Four. Four. Like a minute. It's very good. But right now we're doing only five, or you can take 10 deep breaths also good, okay? Now slowly bring the legs same, overhead like this, hands down. Now use your ab muscles to roll back. That's the way we do the postures. Okay, in the beginning you may not get it, by time you get them. So go back again, like old school training, <laughs> okay? Now slowly come back. Stretch your arms overhead. Sit up, please. Oh, very good. Sit down. Now put place one right like this, like this, flat, not to the higher side. And now you want to touch the, not the lower back, the slightly upper back. So you can lie down like this. Uh, and then you can touch this head, resting. You want to open that upper back, the mid section of the back. So you can stay like this or you can do butterfly. Feet, feet together, yes. Open those knees out and then stay like this. And those who have a round, those who are working too many hours, long hours with the computers, I recommend you to stay in this pose 
very, very good to open up and reconstruct the body because we are unnecessarily hurting. The way we sit down put a lot of stress. Not only, don't think it's only stressing your lungs, it's actually stressing your mind, emotions, energies. It all takes away. You should learn to use these methods to help fix back. And not only that, yoga is not an exercise. Understand that. Yoga is a way of life. So you should learn to sit upright. You should learn to stand, walk upright, not hunch. And when you are walking, it's not only uh, doing breathing while you are doing yoga posture and you forget and you have no consciousness on the breathing. Okay, no, that's not the way. You have to learn when you're driving, you breathe long. Take five seconds inhale, five seconds to exhale. This helps you a lot. So this breathing exercise is not just for yoga. Practice alone. You should practice them all your throughout the day. Even when you sleep, you should learn to breathe deep. That helps you calm your senses, nervous system. All will be relaxed, rejuvenated. So very, very important to practice this breathing exercises. Practice a proper posture after yoga. <laughs> that is important. Not just in yoga, you are perfectly fine. Later you are not. So I hope you enjoyed the session. By the way, please visit my website, my.com, to know more about our courses, our online courses. And you can write to us anything you would like to learn about. And we offer like Kriya Yoga sequential training sessions. Those who want to be a teacher and those who are already teachers can learn our classes and can teach in their own centers or in fitness centers, wherever they are. Uh, you're most welcome to write us. Stay connected to us. I hope you enjoyed the class. We will come with more, more videos. Thank you for watching. You can stay like this or you can slowly, when you feel like getting up, slowly turn aside. Don't rush and you can sit down. So enjoy your weekend. Relax and celebrate. Namaste. Okay, now up. <laughs> Facebook off? No. <laughs>